friends, is struct. This is the most groundbreaking app in the entirety of everything. Essentially, what this is, is you make your own games on it, and as you can see, you can play everyone's games. Um, I'm just going to be showing you all the games that I've made. Um, if we have a look here, this is the trending games. There we go, Scott Ray Games. Wind Dawn, War in Winterly. This is my game in trending, so that's really nice. But anyways, what we're going to do is we're going to click over here. Got this nice logo I rigged up. So I'm just going to show you all the games uh, that I've made. Um, this one here, Attack on Towerland. My brother made that one. I didn't make it, but I'll still show you it. Um, yeah, so we're going to try and complete all these games. Some of them are pretty hard, so... Anyways, yeah, we're going to go through it. Um, I'm going to start with Wind Dawn Dungeons. So yeah, um, I'll put a link to Struct in the description. Um, but as you can see, this is a really nice game creator. You can make some like first-person shooters. You can make all sorts of things in it. 3D games, it's really nice. Some of the controls are a bit, you know weird but as you can see down there it says double tap and hold to attack which isn't the nicest way to attack I've got to say but you know you can't really whinge too much it's a great app I love it so much because I make I just make loads of games on it and yeah well yeah that's pretty much what it's for but it's really really nice so this game is uh, essentially just a uh, you're in a dungeon you're a guy with a spear. As you can see now, I'm killing a skeleton. There was some spiders before and other skeletons. So there's like loads of really cool enemies in this. Um, really, like it, this is the kind of game you would download from the App Store. I'm not meaning to like be like, oh yeah, look at my game. It's it's just, it's it's absolutely amazing. I'm I'm just thinking like graphics wise and well, it's a 3D first person game. So like it's better than a lot of apps you'd get in the actual. App Store, or in my case, Google Play Store, because I've got a Samsung. Um, right, we're gonna go through this door first. Here we have a giant spider. <laughs> it's really easy to kill, though. Axe skeleton, there we go. Let's make sure we got all the points. But yeah, like, uh, oh, here we go. Uh, people's high scores and that, like other people's, they get saved on uh, struct. Like, they tell you, like, what people have scored on your game and that. Okay, right. We're not gonna go in there, because <laughs> as you can see, there's a huge uh, dragon. Um, that isn't actually the way, like, this is, yeah, I mean, you can come this way if you want points, uh, but, like, it's not the way to go, like, it's kind of a troll, because, you, you know, you just end up then there's a massive dragon that you can't actually kill, and it just kills you. Um, there are some hard enemies this way, like, this this, this guy's actually quite easy, the, this giant axe skeleton. Okay, he's running away. But you don't need any coding skills at all for struct, it's like, uh, you get guys and you place them around. Is he? Hmm, he's, it appears he's been stabbed with the sword. We'll come around. Now, I'm going into the corner before I kill this ghost because that golem over there is just so hard to kill. <laughs> uh, I'm cornered. I got him. Got him good. Alright, we'll challenge the golem, see if we can do it. You have to kind of fight really tactical against this, because as you can see it does quite a lot of damage. There we go. Nice and easy for me, because obviously I'm a pro. Nah, the only reason it's easy for me is because, well, I, I made the game. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, normally the golems are really hard. 
We have a skeleton with a bone arrow. Attacks pretty fast and it like never misses, so he's pretty annoying. As you can see, it took me down to half health. There's a potion right here though. Not quite back to full. And that spider just killed itself on that spike trap. But just we're gonna kill us uh, another axe skeleton. We're gonna kill this uh, skeleton mage. We are not gonna attempt to kill this chimera because it's really, really hard. Oh, there we go, he's attacking me. You better not follow me out. Oh, he's coming for me. He's coming. He's coming. He really is. He oh, I'm, I'm doomed. And we have a goblin. I think I'm pretty doomed. Oh, I think the spi- yeah, the spikes killed the Chimera. I still have a chance. So a goblin just dropped a potion. Oh, the gems are right on the trap. There we go. I think there should be another goblin in here. Yep, there we go. So I'll kill this crazy lunatic. Ooh, there's a potion over there. It's just what I need right now. Well, not right now, but I will after this goblin, because they just attack so fast. Like, they don't deal much damage, but they do if you let them at you for a long time, because they attack really, really quickly. So, I should get the highest possible score. Uh, obviously, like... Discluding the dragon room, just you have to be like crazy good at this game if you want to kill that dragon. I don't. I think. I think you'll have to get past the dragon because I have tried to fight it before, but like it's it's kind of too high. Like you have to be in like the perfect position if you want to actually stab it. Okay, so try kill this ogre. Don't step on that because that's a blade trap. Well, oh, that's a good idea. We'll get him to. S nah, I'm just trapped now. Get him to step on the blade trap, and it didn't work. <laughs> it works when you step on it, trust me, I've done it many, many, many times. There you go. Goodness gracious. This ogre's quite hard. He's kind of the final boss. There we go. And he dropped some noodles. Let's eat those noodles. <laughs> I've, I've never actually challenged the... Ogre, I normally just run straight past him. So yeah, this is the exit. So here we go, I've won. I'm not going to like my own game. Uh, leaving that to other people. So next, uh, we're going to play this game called Alien Menace. <laughs> now this one, it can get crazy laggy. Um, yeah, so you've got teammates here. There's giant aliens, there's also small aliens, just not right now, it seems. Yeah, there you go. So this guy's got a katana because he's crazy mad. Yeah, essentially what, what the goal of this game is to get the highest amount of points in three minutes. Alright, we'll kill this giant floating uh, demon ghost robot thing. Yeah, there's loads of different kinds of aliens to look at. They all look pretty nice. There's a giant squid over there, look at that. This game is... It's, it's, it's not really you play it because it's a good game. You play it because it's nice to look at all the different kinds of aliens, I suppose. But yeah, after about, when it gets to about 1 minute 30, it's going to get crazy laggy. Because there's just so many aliens. It's starting to get a bit laggy right now. These green guys will just chase you literally till... They'll chase you to hell and back. Like, this is... They're just so annoying. Little goblin things in space. 
think that's a good idea for a game, Space Goblins. <laughs> They're really just sliding across the floor. But yeah, as I said, look, it's getting pretty laggy right now. Whoops. But yeah, some pretty cool scenery right there. But yeah, I don't want to kind of bore you because it's just really laggy. So uh, we're just going to go on to the next game right now. The music is continuing for whatever reason. Generation Warfare. This is basically like a mobile Call of Duty. Uh, essentially that's what it is. <laughs> that sound was my uh, phone going off, basically telling me uh, that there's 60 people playing my game now. I'm just going to put it on silent to kind of, you know, stop any more things like that. Ah, that's a buddy. That's a buddy right there. Right, <laughs> we're going <laughs> to redo that because you don't really get to see the map or anything. But yeah, it's a pretty nice map. I'm not trying to brag, but the map's really nice. There's a lot of, like, hidey holes and stuff. All down here is really cool for like shooting out against buddies. I'm, I'm really bad at this game. I'm literally talking about a game I made here. I'm really, really bad at it. As you can see, I just want to show you the other side of the map before we go on to the next game. Uh, because there's some really nice rooms. Like this little kind of maze over here is really, really nice. So like you've got this little corridor to go up and there's loads of like little holes to get into the next areas. Yeah, this is essentially just like, you know, Call of Duty on your phone. So that's, that's why this app is so good because you can just like mimic games that you want to be able to play anywhere. Like I'm not I'm not saying like oh yeah this is Call of Duty level uh, best game. Like I'm all I'm saying is like if you want the same kind of gameplay you can just make a game that is similar to to whatever game you're wanting to have on your phone. But um, it's pretty pretty good. A lot of people um, on Struct don't know how to make timers because it's a bit uh, strange. Uh, basically, uh, you get these things that basically the enemies will try and destroy, and you've got to defend them. I've just put all of mine in there because uh, <coughs> sorry, um, one of these objects that they're going to try and destroy is the same as uh, one minute. So that's how you make a timer. Just make sure you have them concealed so you know they can't be destroyed and you can't lose. Yes, yeah, so now we're gonna play. Yeah, this one my brother made. Attack on Towerland. It's kind of a, you know, just a bit of fun. Like, so you're being this gold guy with a ton of these guys on your team, and there's just loads of towers everywhere. And then there's these fire guys that come and try and kill you. So it's really as simple as that. And you've got a minute to, you know, get as many points as you can. So yeah, not all your games have to be in first person. It can be bird's eye view, kind of like this. Or they can be... No, this isn't bird's eye view. This is uh, kind of like an RPG view. Uh, but they can be bird's eye view. Sixteen seconds left. So this is, is kind of like, you know... Oh, it's a little short game to play. Uh, might as well play it while I'm... Um, you know, do nothing like this isn't a game you would sit down and just constantly play. This is a game you would, you know, play on like lunch break or something. So, just gonna go back to my channel. Uh, the next game is Generation Defender. So, this is uh, part of the Generation Warfare series. <coughs> Sorry about that. So essentially you're a guy up here, there's two snipers up there, you've got three teammates and a ton of healing things that I walked into and wasted. So the objective is to stop these guys 
from getting towards you with your gun. But yeah, is it, that game's as simple as that, so. <laughs> Generation Defender. Um, <laughs> this next game, Fly Simulator, is so funny because the people go mad, like, uh, the family in the house, like, you'll see here, they, like, knock over chairs and knock their TVs over just to get this fly. <laughs> see, look at that, like. It's actually a really challenging game really hard to see the people are so much faster than you so the trick is to outmaneuver them it is possible because uh, you can't actually release a game on this app unless you've completed it yourself so the trick to fly simulator is to outmaneuver them um, and you know like hope for the best yeah this room is really funny because like the fly uh, you can go like under the table and obviously the people in the house can't <laughs> alright so she's kinda glitched out which is nice for us hey, the objective to this one is to get all the candy in the house and you need to get to 400 points to win each candy is worth uh, 100 points it's alright, it's alright, come on let's get this, let's get this candy Yep, we just won. So that game's as simple as that. So now uh, we're going to go to Windon Strongbow. Now if you remember the first game, it's called Windon Dungeons. So this is part of the Windon series. I should really be reading the descriptions, but I'll leave that to you. Um, just If you want to get to my games, uh, play these games uh, on the app, you just search uh, Scott Ray Games. Uh, it's all one word. Uh, capital S, capital R, capital G. So there's two options in this one. You can either just defend the city for... That dragon's on your team, by the way. You can either defend the city for five minutes, or you can uh, go and find these uh, important stones. But a lot of the enemies are really strong. I normally go for the stones. It's just so much easier. These stones kind of look like giant eggs over here. Obviously, this uh, Wind Dawn game is set in a different place to the other Wind Dawn game I showed you. Uh, this one's set uh, basically where the Dark Elves of Wind Dawn are from. Uh, if you want to know more about like where the games are set and things like that just read the description of the game uh, before you play it but if you are going to go for the stones you have to do it uh, quickly because uh, if they destroy all the flags in the city uh, the enemies have won and you've obviously therefore lost so you can either just kill them all and stop them from you know killing the city or you can okay right, I've glitched in this uh, little hill yeah this is uh, this is bad <laughs> Alright, but yeah, um, so that's that game. Uh, because we glitched in the hill, we'll just uh, stop it right there. This next one is another Wind Dawn game called uh, War in Winterly. This one's a first person Wind Dawn game, just like the first one. Essentially, you're the commander of an elite team defending this fortress from these rebels who uh, have uh, big mushroom guys on their team. Uh, there's also a bad. Uh, humans as well and uh, wolves yeah there's also a little healing pen over there if you need to heal but it's hard to get there you have to either wait for them to break through the gate or you can go through through the side here okay these humans are really powerful because they're obviously just as powerful as you so you wanna uh, be careful when attacking them. This is a lot more strategic. This is the game uh, that I made that was trending. I'm trying to kill my own guy there. But uh, yes, yeah, so I'm quite proud of that. Yeah, I died. Uh, <laughs> that's pretty bad. <laughs> Alright, well I did press that. 
So now we're gonna go to over here and play this other game, which is also a Wind Dawn game uh, called Raid of the Shattered Isles. Uh, basically, you're a pirate, uh, an illegal pirate, raiding the Shattered Isles. So you're the baddies in this game, uh, kind of. But the Shattered Isles has uh, obviously the uh, people who guard it, and also there's demons on it because. Uh, the law behind the Shattered Isles is it kind of came down from the demon world. But yeah, you can collect these uh, maps as well, which are kind of hidden around the place because they give you points. So this is your pirate crew. As you can see, you've already settled this uh, island, and you've got uh, boats that are kind of raiding the townsmen. Over here is the kind of where the demons are just standing there watching. You can't fight them but generally they're just going to be spawning on this island and just kind of watching the fight. You don't need to go on this island. This is just if you, you know, want to. It's a bit dangerous if you want to do that. So these are going to fight with us. So I'm probably going to die by the demons here. Uh. Yeah, to win this game you have to get past all these onto the non-occupied island. And uh, there's just some treasure there and you've got to kind of collect that. So that's that game. One more game I want to show you is uh, got quite a huge map. This is uh, dungeon, uh, Jungle Delve, sorry. Uh, so... Yep. So there's a lot of surprises in this game, so if you want to play it yourself and don't want any of it to be spoiled, I recommend you stop the video right now and go play the game and then continue watching the video, because there's a lot of surprises in this game. So the objective of this game is to collect all the monster and dinosaur eggs. Um, so wherever you find a creature, there's going to be an egg for every creature in the game. Kind of like right where it uh, was. As you can see, you're in this jungle. You can get in this helicopter and in this car, but what happens when you're in a vehicle? Your score kind of goes down because as as you're in a vehicle, like it gradually gets lower and lower. Uh, not for helicopters, it appears. But yeah, so you can fly your chopper. We're not going to today. Um, it's the car where your score goes down, as you can see. Because, like, you know, it's just, like, the same as walking, so, just, uh, a bit faster. There's some dinosaurs in there which you've captured and are doing research on. Um, yeah, some Allosauruses over there. Oh, we killed that Spinosaurus before. I'm gonna kind of try and mention, you know, what kind of dinosaurs they all are. And there's raptors somewhere. Uh, yeah, I think they're back here. Oh no they're not, yep they are. Yeah, the raptors are in here. Should be one more. Yep. So I'll come over here and kill this Rex. <coughs> you win the game once you've collected all of the um, eggs. So kill these Allosaurs.
Okay, there's this thing up in here. So I got that to kind of come out of the bushes so it's easy to kill. And it doesn't appear it wants to. Okay, so we killed it. Get egg. Some jumpy, whatever they're called in here. Um, yeah, these don't attack you. Uh, quite nice. You can kill them for points, but you, know, you don't have to. Some of the dinosaurs will attack you if you shoot them, like this uh, Diplodocus right here. Um, same with the, uh, and uh, others will just attack you regardless. Hmm, it got quiet for a second. I don't know if this one attacks you. I'll have a look. No, I don't think it does. There's quite a lot of herbivores in this area. A lot of nice guys. Why is he eating his own egg? This guy is definitely not nice. These are just kind of points from killing certain creatures. That thing over there, I can confirm, is an evil creature. That is not something you want to mess around with. Kind of coming out of the jungle now. There's a bit more jungle over here. Giant fly. Shoot through the bushes. Now it's. I'm getting it. I'm getting it. Oh no! The giant fishman things coming for me too. Should be another egg for the fly. Here it is. This thing with like sword hands. So yeah, we're kind of coming away from the dinosaurs, and oh my, yeah, yeah, that's a massive gun on his back, uh, by the way. So we're gonna kind of avoid that gun. Ah, there you go. Shooting, it's shooting. There we go. Killed it. Let's just take its egg. Nice and simple. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I will put a link to Struct in the description. My game is the top trending game. That is so nice. I mean obviously it's not got as many plays as a lot of the others. But it's top of trending. So I'm quite happy with that. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. I will see you later.